Right now at 6, the push to get more states to implement the Ashanti Alert. The program designed to find missing adults was named for Ashanti Billy, a local student who disappeared and was later found dead. Perhaps an alert system could have saved her life. Ted on your side's Kara Dixon shows us who's trying to get more states to participate. Senator Mark Warner helped get the bill passed two years ago and says the DOJ has been dragging their feet to get other states to use the alert. But with a recent webinar and new funding, Warner hopes that the time has come for others to implement it. I think they just needed a little bit of a kick in the pants. Um, the money, I don't think, was the major factor. It was just making this a priority. And Senator Warner says that a recent webinar on the Ashanti alert done by the DOJ and their announcement of funding $1 million to help states develop the alert is a long time coming. The Ashanti alert would notify the public of people believed to be in danger between the ages of 18 to 64. Not to have any alert system, it kind of blew me away. This seemed to me to be a no brainer. It's named after 19 year old Ashanti Billy, who was kidnapped from JEB Little Creek. Her body was discovered days later in Charlotte, North Carolina. For many of those days, her family pleaded with the public locally to help look for her. But that effort was small compared to the fact that if you could have, you know, blasted this out on the highways the way the Amber Alert works, and just maybe um, we might have avoided this tragedy. Virginia implemented the system in 2018. Warner says it saved lives, and that's why other states should use the alert system. He says he'll continue to work to make sure they do, and that the Billy family can finally see the legacy their daughter left behind. I can think of no bad, better way to honor their daughter's memory than to make sure this tool is available all across the country. Since it's been implemented, Virginia has issued 10 Ashanti alerts in the state. President Donald Trump signed the Ashanti alert into law also in 2018. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.